I will share in, your collective, in our collective successes and share responsibility for our setbacks, if any. And at the time of reckoning, Your Excellency John Dramani Mahama, I will not, in the advancement of self-serving ambition, declare to the whole world that I was only the driver's mate. Thank you. Distinguished ladies and gentlemen, before I go on to other important matters, please let me state my understanding of where we are as a country, as a nation, and the implications of what lay ahead. The election ahead is not so much about Ghana making history, although that is important. It is not so much about returning a competent president back to power. It is not even about producing the first woman vice president. Historical and exciting though these are, it is not only about bringing the NDC back to power, although that is indispensable in our current circumstances. The elections ahead and winning them is about winning elections for a purpose. The purpose goes beyond those enumerated above. The purpose is the opportunity to heal our country again. It is about the opportunity to pull Ghana back from the precipice of destruction, of normalizing corruption, of incomprehensive greed, from deep despair. The election ahead and winning it for our party is about hard work and abiding sacrifice. It is to embrace everyone in building a Ghana that functions again. It is to work towards a Ghana where citizens have confidence and hope and are determined to regain their independence of thought and of agenda. We must work towards a Ghana that at the very least can feed itself. We know we can. We must work towards a Ghana where the law truly works, where there is shared prosperity, where democracy has not become a fluke, where people are not abused, and where the basic necessities of life are not denied the majority.